As of April 13, three Valley baseball teams are ranked in the top 15 of the college baseball RPI. Here to talk more NBC baseball, let's bring in 1994 Valley pitcher here and All American Shane Dennis. Shane, how are things going this week? Going good. Uh, kind of right smack in the middle of the conference season. Looking forward to see how these things shape up. Yeah, I guess first off, you get to see Wichita State obviously a lot. Um, Shockers are five and four league play, third place as of right now. What do you make of uh, this year's Shocker team? Well, it, they've obviously gone in fits and starts, but they took advantage of some scheduling uh, in the Valley to begin with, started off 5-1, and one, and then had a one-win Illinois State team come to their place uh, and had a chance to really legitimately stay up with Missouri State and Dallas Baptist, who are who we thought they were. Well, the unthinkable happened, and Illinois State went into Wichita and won all three games for the first time ever. Uh, that's never happened to Wichita State at X Stadium. Well, Illinois State, uh, with that, kind of put a little more seeds of doubt into the back of the minds of the Wichita State players who have been having a, a kind of a forgettable season overall, but they were doing fine in the Valley until this past weekend. So they probably got to be scratching their heads in Wichita. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned that, that series with Illinois State, that uh, Redbirds getting three there in Wichita. Uh, when you talk about the Redbirds, obviously it's got to start with the offense and Paul DeJong recently named to the uh, midseason Golden Spikes uh, watch list, also with Missouri State's uh, John Harris. That guy's just a tremendous hitter. You know, it's funny, this past weekend, he's the one that didn't do too much. Uh, he came into the weekend uh, among the nation's leaders, not just the Valley leaders, in home runs and RBI and this uh, era of home runs being tougher to come by. He had 11 going into this weekend and really didn't do anything against Wichita State. But that's kind of a credit to... A handful of other veterans that Bo Durkak had coming back, uh, Joe Kelch, Sean Beasley, Daniel Dwyer, those are all good complimentary pieces around him. Uh, but I imagine uh, Coach Durkak pretty happy with his supporting cast because they did most of the heavy lifting uh, as opposed to their uh, all-everything second baseman. Yeah. Finally, things haven't been easy for Southern Illinois this year, um, but Slukies did manage to get a series win uh, this past weekend at Indiana State. You know, one thing they do have and have had for quite a while is a pretty darn good Friday guy in Aaron Haugie. He gave Wichita State fits opening weekend and lost in the ninth inning. Uh, they did take two out of three against Indiana State, and I thought it showed some more signs of life. You know, this is a team that had really struggled to pitch and hit, but they put two pretty good games together against the Sycamores and did it on the road. And Haugie, of course, was right in the middle of it. His, uh, his ERA right around two overall. And you're going to have a chance to win most nights when he goes out there for you. And Matt Lambert's done a decent job in the middle of that lineup, too, that has struggled to score runs on a team that doesn't have a lot of power and rarely tries to steal. So they really have to grind out victories. But uh, hats off to them. They won a series this past weekend against Indiana State. Yeah, we'll see what happens this coming weekend. The Valley's been getting a lot of attention. Some articles on D1Baseball.com and ESPN.com as well, talking about the Missouri Valley Conference uh, baseball. So we'll see how the rest of the season pans out. Shane, thanks so much for your insight, and we'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.